Here's uh, an example mission demonstrating how we spawn in units with the F10 menu. So what we want to do is to go to the triggers and we can uh, we can start a unit trigger uh, when, we, when we set up a trigger with no conditions so we'll start right away and it will immediately add uh, an, our, a radio trigger for the blue side and we have our name is start armored assault and our flag value is 900 and we're going to set it to 1 every time this radio trigger is cl clicked. So when flag 900 is set to 1, we want to activate our, our groups right here. And not only we can just activate groups, we can also set the tasks for what we want them to do. We can also um, message uh, set the message to coalitions. We can activate various other groups. And if it's a one-time use trigger, like this one, uh, we only want it to be used once. You might want to consider um, removing the radio item for the coalition so it doesn't clog up your F10 menu if you use this uh, a lot in your missions. And just make sure your name right here, the name of the, the trigger that you're removing matches the name up here. Not only that, you can also use a condition to activate the radio item. So let's just say our coalition enters the enters the outpost zone, which is right about here. If our coalition enters this zone, we want it to uh, we want it to send a message to the coalition to notify whoever entered the zone that the outpost building is available through the F10 ray. F10 radio menu. So uh, then right here we just want to add the radio item for the blue side. So I'll build radio outpost and our flag is 17 and I'll set it to 1 when, it, uh, when it's used. So when flag 17 equals 1 we will activate the road outpost right here that we set up and we always check late activation so it doesn't spawn right off the bat. And then it will activate the group so it will be visible now. And we also want to remove the, the outpost. And we'll go activate the op, the op, opposition force against this outpost. Right here, we can do that by activating this. And we can set the flag value to continuously, uh, continuously activate various other triggers. Like um, when the soft target is dead, we can activate uh, various other triggers and actions. Okay, now let's say that you want to uh, spawn an aircraft in, right, with the F-10, and you want to just continuously spawn it in after after it dies, or after um, something happens to it, or after it does its task, but you want to just keep respawning it. Okay, so what you need to do first is to go to your flanker. Uh, we named it SU-27. And we have an SU-27 here, does the cap, and we want it most importantly set to late activation. Just make sure you have your loadouts and set it to late activation. So this, this way it doesn't spawn in right when the mission starts. Then we come to our conditions, load the radio item right here, 450 to 1, and then do 450. When 450 um, equals 1, uh, we do a missed we do our missed respawn group. Then we set the value of 450 back to zero so the trigger can be reused. And we want to load a miss script right here. So this do script file will open up a file explorer. So when you click that, we'll just find that and click OK. And if you have CTLD loaded, if you want CTLD at the same time, you just have to make sure your missed script is in front of CTLD. 
as you see on our F10 map, we do not have the flankers uh, spawning right immediately because we have late activation checked. So when we go to our radio item right here, we when we click fulcrum, it will turn the flag 450 to from uh, no number to one, and that will activate the script, and here will load the missed file. Okay, right here, our SU-27 died, and we can show you that we can respawn the flanker again, right here. Same trigger, same stuff.